What's good, good guys? I'm Good Guy Gasly, and welcome to another 6v6. And today's 6v6 is against Daniel, who's a Twitter follower as well as a fellow YouTuber by the name of Dark Gengar. So go ahead and check him out. I will put his link in the channel description below. Now, I'm bringing the Reggie Rock, the Haxorus, the Nino King, the Haunch Crow, the uh, what's it called? Captain Planet. Oh, that's a nickname. Rosa Raid, and the uh, uh, Ms. Magius. I got it. I got it. Okay. We're just going to do it and just see what happens here. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Rockman here. Now, if you don't get the joke, Rockman is also how you say Mega Man in Japanese, right? I'm pretty sure. Someone can correct me on that, but I'm pretty sure. And obviously, he's made out of rock, so right. So he goes for the knockoff. He's going to go ahead and knock off my leftovers so I can't eat anything. Just take away my food. And I'm going to thrust uh, some, some paralyzation into his face. And uh, he's not going to be able to move. Just He's going to be stunned by how sexy I am. So I'm going to thrust some more rocks onto his field. Just, just doing a bunch of thrusting on the field. And he's going to be paralyzed by that sex appeal. No doubt about it. That's exactly what it is. Rockman is just too much for him to handle. And he's going to bring out the, the uh, nucleus here. Science. I don't even know how to say it. re -nucleus? Yeah, that's how you do it. And he's going to take the stone edge pretty damn well, but I'm going to thrust some more paralyzation at him because I'm, my whole goal here is just to make everyone on his side of the team be infatuated with Rockman and how powerful he is. But this guy is going to just try to, or she rather, she, it's her, is going to try to meditate past that sex appeal and calm mine all up on here. I'm going to switch out into Jarlaxle. Now if you got, if you, one of you guys can tell me where the name Jarlaxle comes from, be really impressed. It comes from my favorite author. It's a character that my favorite author created. I'm gonna go for the Night Slash. I actually expected that to kill, but uh, it doesn't. And he's gonna start recovering. I'm like, okay, that, that's fine. If you want to start recovering while you're paralyzed, eventually I'm gonna win. I'm gonna get a crit, or you're gonna get par too paralyzed that you can't move. Because that's what paralyzation does. Trust me, I'm a doctor. So he goes for the Focus Blast, and I skillfully just dodge it, do a barrel roll, get out of the way of that Focus Blast, hit him with another Night Slash on the return, and he's gonna go down. Gonna get that nice and sexy Moxie over here. Gonna get that plus attack. He's gonna bring out Raiden. Now, I have a problem with Electivires. I honestly thought I could outspeed an Electivire, and uh, I believe he told me that it was Choice Banded and not Choice Scarfed, because I was really surprised that this out that's outsped me. So that's weird. You need to do some more training, Jarlaxle, because I don't know what that was all about. So Ice Punch is gonna take him out. I'm going to bring back in Rockman because I know we can't really do much to Rockman. He's going to switch out and he, that tells me that he obviously is choice. I just really didn't know what, what he was choiced into. But he's going to bring out steroids here which is his Mega Swampert and this thing is damn scary. I'm going to go for a Stone Edge here. Uh, I really was just hoping that he'd stay in. I knew he wouldn't but I was like, ah, just going to go for the safe play. Why not? Can't do much else. And now you're going to see here that I do a really dumb move because I was also infatuated with uh, Rockman here. I was just like, wow, he's got a really, some really attractive spikes on his back, and I'm paralyzed myself. So I go for the Thunder Wave on accident, and I, <laughs> he's like a swamper. He doesn't even care. He's like, whatever, dude. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know what you're trying. So I go on to Roserade after that uh, embarrassing attack, and he hits me with the waterfall. And Roserade here, Ro hero, the Roserade is gonna take it pretty damn well. Now I believe I have this Roserade as a special defense tank, which I'm coming to find out that is a really bad idea. Nothing special ever hits Roserade. Like I don't want to take ice beams. I don't want to take fire blasts. Like nothing ever special is hitting a Roserade. It's gonna switch out into the nice and powerful Sacred with its uh, pretty ribbon. Get that pressure on me, and I'm gonna hit him with a Leaf Storm. Um, I really should have just, ex I didn't do a lot of predictions, it's something I haven't been doing lately that I definitely need to mix up. By the way, Dirt Gengar here is also in the MLP, Major League Pokemon, no, MPL, god I thought I had it that time, MPL, I always mess up the acronym, and uh, he's gonna, he's not in my division I don't believe, so he won't be fighting right away. He's gonna hit with that Sacred Fire, gonna get that awesome animation, and Entei here is not attracted to Rockman in the slightest. He's not going to get paralyzed. He's not going to be off his game at all. And he's going to hit me with the burn and I'm going to go down to it. So I bring in King Fawns. Hey! And King Fawns is just going to go for the safe and powerful Earth Power. Man, that's a lot of power in one sentence. And he's going to bring out the Child, which also has a ribbon. And the Child here 
is gonna does not take this earth power very well I knew I could take one attack from this thing usually Mews aren't um, especially attack invested they usually play more of a defensive role or more of a utility kind of kind of role so he's gonna go for the size shock and I was really hoping I was like come on come on hey and he survives right just on a sliver of HP and I'm gonna go for another earth power two hit KO child is out of here I don't know Nidoking King why you have to beat up children uh, I'm pretty sure the cops talked to you about that before and um, I don't know if I can support your lifestyle anymore so we're gonna bring he's gonna bring out his uh, equally as pink <laughs> or purple I don't even know I'm colorblind <laughs> Swampert I'm gonna hit him with the ice beam because I'm like well you can't really do too much else Nidoking, King so you might as well just get some damage on him and take a hit from me so thanks King Fawn you did your job and we appreciate you and all the things you've done please get your stuff out of the office and leave so I'm gonna bring out Roserade here and now Roserade I actually thought again I had this problem with speed tiers I thought I could outspeed Mega Swamp Heart well Mega Swamp Heart but then I remembered that this thing was mostly defensive I believe so I didn't really speed invest in the slightest and he's not defensive so that took him out no problem I am gonna bring in Haxorus here though and I am gonna hit him with that nice and powerful no I'm not gonna hit him with it yet yet I'm gonna use substitute here because I thought maybe he'd actually want to switch out maybe preserve his uh, his Swampert for later this is like the first time this is not hasn't worked for me so hacks.png is not gonna like that ice punch very much but I do know that I'm faster so I do go for the outrage and that is gonna take him out now uh, this is a problem though because now that even though this is gone he still has the Electivire now I really thought that I could handle Electivire no problem like I just don't understand I swear the last three games I've played where my opponent had an Electivire I've lost because of the Electivire because of me not understanding how fast or what the hell this thing even does it's not even that it's pretty straightforward it just punches things or uses earthquake but I can't get that through my thick skull so I got on to Hocus Pocus here now I probably should have gone to Hocus Pocus a little bit earlier against this guy and um, I think I would have been okay and I go for the Shadow Ball it's gonna be a 2 at KO because Hocus Pocus out of all my Pokemon is definitely faster without a doubt and it's gonna hit with that Ice Punch I survive it pretty well hit it with that other Shadow Ball nice and powerful Shadow Ball gonna take him out but uh, this game I thought was uh, pretty close it came down to the wire here I believe me and Shao was his last Pokemon and it was paralyzed and I'm like look dude I got this a paralyzed me and Shao all I need is one paralyzed and I'm good this guy can't handle me come on just one 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 paralyzed and I don't get it and he knocks off whatever the hell I had I think I had a, I had a focus sash or something stupid like that and it takes out my uh, my hocus pocus there so a uh, good good game Daniel we'll have to have another one hopefully we fight in the league so if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and be a good guy and leave a like right down there below can we hit 10 likes I don't know maybe we can we'll see <laughs> and uh, if you're new to the channel be a good guy and hit that subscribe button appreciate it guys thank you very much see you next time boy